This is a bobcat. They are beautiful. I love bobcats, and they're found throughout North America. Look at this one just chilling in a box. Bobcat in a box. Look, this one only has three legs. And you know what? His name is Howie, and he's a resident at the Wildcat Haven Sanctuary. Watch him just sip, sip, sip some water. He and others like him are rescued from assholes that think that they can maintain an exotic animal in their house. Look at this beautiful serval. Servals are amazing, but they're from Africa and the Sahara. So what's it doing here in beautiful Sherwood, Oregon? I'll tell you, as I was saying, many assholes out there think it's okay to raise an exotic animal, and they have no prior experience, and it's just horrible. So they wind up here, thankfully, where they're well taken care of, and the Tuller family is doing an amazing job. This sanctuary is not open to the public, and they're provided with everything they need. Look, they're all just chilling. Bobcats, FYI, eat all sorts of nasty shit, I'm telling you, from rabbits to chickens. Oh, look at this, it's the Wildcat Haven Cougar Alley. Now, cougars are also beautiful big wildcats. Oh, hello there, meow. This gorgeous baby is like, wait a second, do I know you? Now, the Wildcat Haven Sanctuary is home to bobcats, cougars, hybrids, lynx, servals, and tigers. It is an amazing organization, a nonprofit, a no-kill sanctuary. Oh my goodness, and look how precious this cougar is. Hi, sweetie. How are you doing? I'm fine. Just chilling. You have any antelope on you? This one just wants some tender vittles. Sniffing around, sniffing around. Meow. More like, roar. Oh, how gorgeous. Now, they also have these um, hybrids um, that you just saw there, where it's a mix between a wildcat and a domestic. Oh, my shit. So, look at this tiger. It's coming right at me. Oh, how precious. Tiger just wants some rubs. Look how affectionate this baby is. Oh, my goodness. And this is Nora, the Bengal tiger. Now, Bengal tigers get that uh, get this way because, due to a lack of red and yellow pigments. Hello. And also, inbreeding promotes recessive traits. And having the lack of the orange is a recessive trait. And sadly, a lot of inbreeding is done just to, you know, continue this species. But they're gorgeous. All of these rescued wildcats are getting a new lease on life, thanks to the Wildcat Haven Sanctuary. The Wildcat Haven Sanctuary receives no state or federal funding, and they rely on funds from sponsors and donors like us. Please, do something. www.wildcathaven.org Click me now. Go ahead. Click this video. Oh, oh I know you want to. Thank you.